This basketball player refused to sign a contract unless this absurd clause was included. The sports world is no stranger to bizarre contracts. There was the Cowboys not letting Des Bryant go to strip clubs, or the infamous weight clauses that some heavier players had to deal with. But nothing comes close to the contract of Tony Lavelli. Tony isn't a well-remembered basketball player. He played just two seasons in the league. And the thing was, Tony never really liked basketball to begin with. Growing up, Tony developed a passion for music. He had aspirations to one day compose musical comedies. But in addition to his musical skills, Tony was in fact a stud on the court. A 6'3 forward, Tony only learned to play basketball to impress his childhood friends. But it ultimately gave him an opportunity to study music at Yale University. When he was not making music, he was dominating the college scene. And by the time he left Yale, Tony was actually the all-time NCAA leading scorer. Still, he had very little interest in pursuing a future in the NBA. But that did not matter to the Boston Celtics, who drafted Tony Lavelli fourth overall in the 1949 draft. And at first, Tony refused to even sign the contract. He had his heart set on the Juilliard School of Music. After serious pleading, Tony agreed to sign on one condition. A clause was included in his contract that gave Tony an additional $125 per home game to play his accordion at halftime. Tony would play just two seasons before leaving basketball behind and pursuing his first love. And while his NBA career was short-lived, many basketball historians actually believe that Tony's halftime shows are what saved the Boston Celtics from folding 70 years ago.